hello so this is the home page or the ui that you get after you first start up uh, autohead or architecture so in the middle you can see uh, various recent drawings over here in open you can open up any previous drawing that you did or someone sent you a drawing you can open up over here we will if you want to start to make create a new drawing then you need to click over here new in this video i'll explain you what are the various uh, ui elements of this autocad architecture uh, what are the work of each of these ui elements and i'll touch on some some of this drawing stuff so on the top this home insert annotate render view all, all these these are called tabs so these are like home tab insert tab annotate tab okay uh, give it a little moment to start up Yes, so on top you can uh, see different tabs. You can click on one, it will switch. For now, let's stay on home tab. Under a tab, this particular region, all these buttons, these are called ribbons. Under this, we have build, draw, various stuff. So, this is the place where we type our command and let's first draw something very basic like let's just draw a line if you want to draw a line you need to go over here and click on this line and then down below you can see um, in this command line there's shown specify first point so you need to click on the first point and then you can you can see specify second point so you can click on the second point anywhere and that will create a line and you can just continue over here like yes also let's create a line and instead of specifying you can just like as in the cartesian plane you write 0 comma 0 that is the origin or 1 comma 0 that is one unit after uh, in the x direction like that uh, we can write 0 comma 0 and then enter then you can see that the line starts from origin uh, this is the origin as you can like you may be familiar with this in um, like cartesian plane And after you are finished drawing you can press enter to close the line command enter okay done there are various commands over here these are not very necessary i am doing doing architectural work you'll need very you'll not need this very often but uh, you should have a good knowledge in this Uh, there are two type of line line uh, there are various kind of line but uh, two of them are most needed uh, there's line and there's polyline if i click on this polyline so if i like click on this small arrow below line you can see polyline so if i click on it uh, on first on first glance you may see like it's similar but what's the difference so if i click on this if i click on this you can see only one part of the line only one line is highlighted that is only one line is selected so what that means is uh, these let's say this four lines are not interconnected with each other 
like if I move one, it will move. It's not interconnected, but the the top one is a polyline. So if I select this, you can see those are all interconnected. So I can just drag it like this, and you can see it moves. So uh, after you selected multiple things, if you want to unselect those, just press Escape. That will unselect. So also a like rule of thumb, uh, like when you want to get out of a command, let's say you accidentally pressed on line, you don't want to make a line, you just need to press Escape. That will like revert back. Give half a line. Uh, let's do something else like a circle. So all these uh, icons, it's very self-explanatory. If you click on an icon, that is, if you want a circle, you click on a circle icon. And then you need to read whatever is saying on the bottom. In the bottom, it says specify center point. So you will specify a center point. And then you will, like, either you can specify another point where it will end, or you can specify uh, the like the uh, radius the radius of the circle as you say specify the radius of the circle what i can do is i can either like specify like this or what i can do is again go to circle come over here and specify like 9000 enter so that's how it's done next uh, also like uh, in circle also you can see there are various other options uh, if i like click on this also you can see there's like three point two point what these means are um, so there are many ways in which we can draw a circle either we can specify the center point either we can specify the center point and then specify the radius and draw a circle or what we can do is specify three points and then like AutoCAD will create a circle that passes through those three points so let's do that I clicked on three point now I'll make one point two point and then like the third point and AutoCAD will create a, a circle like this so let's make a rectangle and it will be more easier to explain in that way so again i have how to create a rectangle just click on this rectangle looking icon and then just do whatever it says over here specify first corner and specify second corner you can either do that or you can also like specify the length i can specify the length as five thousand and so let's create a circle like the rectangle like this you can specify this as let's say ten thousand and uh, also ten thousand is a millimeter right now because that's what the my default unit is you can change the unit in whatever you way you like later on. After pressing this, I can press on tab to give the breadth. I can give the breadth to 5000 and then press enter. So you can see it takes whatever we give. Alternatively, you can also Specify things like this. Enter. So these are the uh, so these draw and come modify. I'll explain modify later on in later videos. So these draw and modify commands are the commands that are present in all forms of AutoCAD, not only AutoCAD architecture. So. 
so what uh, so these builds command build commands those are specific to autocad architecture like making walls making doors making windows those are specific to autocad architecture so how to do those very simple uh, i can just click on this wall It's lagging a bit. Okay, so let's start from here. Let's zoom in a little bit. So as we can see it. like this and then I'm pressing enter so the advantage of using AutoCAD architecture instead of any other uh, app is if I press home view Like if I go to a 3D view, you can see it quite well that I draw it in 2D, but still uh, AutoCAD transforms it into 3D view. You can see like we have few, we have a door, like we have a, we have four walls and Uh, there must be some updates going in the background so it's a little bit uh, laggy uh, yes so uh, so we made uh, four walls and if you like see it in 3d view you can see after changing the view to realistic, I'll explain uh, what are the uses of all these views and everything. So you can see we have four walls and if I go to top view once more. Uh, let's rotate and get rid of all these extra drawings. So to delete something, we can just make a crossing window like this. Click on one side and then like select everything and then press delete uh, let's undo one minute uh, one step uh, there are two types of crossing window if i go from here from left side to right side you can see like this and if i go from right side to left side you can see the color changes uh, these two have different purpose so let's take this circle if i do this from uh, left side to right side you can see that when the crossing window is part partially like crossing over this circle it's not highlighted uh, only when I fully capture this circle like fully uh, get over this circle it's highlighted that means I'm selecting the objects only after fully crossing over it so like this but if I go from right to left, you can see I don't need to fully cross over it. I, I, if I just touch it, it gets highlighted like this. So if I go like this, nothing is highlighted. But if I do like this, everything is highlighted. So uh, you can use this as you like as necessary. And I just want to delete everything. After selecting everything, just pressing delete will do and so we have four walls now we can make some um, doors 
just set on those there are several types of door and like designs to choose from but we will get to it later on so after choosing door we just need to select a select a wall uh, before doing that let's again get back to 2d wireframe view this is the best view to work with and let's just make a door just like this and let's make a window so i'm not uh, like uh, i'm not being specific where it is or anything like that i'm just showing it as a demo one is enough so now if i go to like 3d view like this you can see if i go to realistic view like this you can see we have a door and a window now these are not colored and uh, anything uh, like, uh, like ideally the wind the door should be like wooden colored so that it's better to understand and the like the, those should be color notified but uh, we will show that later on again um, if i go to this 2d wireframe top view so how am i navigating with all this So to navigate, first you need to, uh, like it's better to work with a mouse rather than use trackpad to work with. Uh, you need to press the middle button of mouse and drag it around to, like, uh, to drag. And to zoom in and out, you need to scroll, like scroll in and out to zoom. To zoom in you need to scroll up and to zoom out you need to scroll down then to get to a 3d view you need to orbit to orbit what you need to do is press the middle mouse button press the shift button and then orbit it just like this There are various uh, options over here you can choose from. I'll explain everything in detail later on. So, for an example, you can like using AutoCAD architecture, you can draw very complex drawings very easily. So, let's just draw a simple Let's just draw a simple yes, steer like this. Okay, so uh, it's a little bit messed up once again. Um, so I'll delete this first one because uh, I messed up the last part. So as you can see, if you if you used like normal AutoCAD or any other um, like not architectural software, then it will take ages to make a steel like this. But using softwares that are specific to architecture, uh, you can make it in like very less steps or very less time. So this will be all for this video, uh, in later videos I will explain everything I told in this video in uh, greater depth and 
yeah, just let me know what do you think of this if you suggest any changes thank you bye